Hello and welcome to the overview video of the level builder tool. So right here I'm in Unity and here I have an example of my level builder tool. So when I click my tool I can see there is a line appearing. So the tool works based on a line you can draw in Unity. So I'm going to zoom out more and you can see that the layout nicely follows my line. So with the Houdini engine, we can then here edit the line or add more on the line. Let's for example edit the line. I can just click on edit, select one of the points, drag this around. And a few seconds later, I have then my new version. So that's the main idea of the tool, is that we can draw a line. And based on those line, prefabs will be placed for you. So Houdini will be placing this for you. As example here, this is my modular kit or prefabs. So everything you see here is a prefab. Some of these might be familiar to you because I have made these before as procedural assets in other tutorials as well. So I have pre previously made a procedural tank, crates, door, panel generator, and based from these panel generators, I also got some variations on this. Now something new here are these panels. So these are panels with a specific size. These are like more cube sides, so one by one. These are more one by two, one by three, and two by three. So I will have a procedural system that calculates how they could fit nicely together. And here is one example of this. So Houdini has calculated this for us where every piece should come. And this has also the advantage that everywhere else in my scene, I won't be having a similar wall. Everywhere where I look, I will have a different version of this wall with different props. So everywhere they are different. They are also still a prefab. So if you would like to make changes afterwards, we can easily change the prefab and move this or delete this or replace it. So now more on the tool, we have some parameters over here and we also have instancing inputs. So we can use this to instance our prefabs. So what we can, for example, do with parameters is we can, for example, get more variation on this. Like one cool thing we can do is we can, for example, rotate it more. Let's say I want to rotate it 25 degrees. And a few seconds later, I have now rotated this whole wall 25 degrees because my other walls have also like a small rotation. So that would be nice if we could also have it for this part as well. We can also add height variation on this. So let's go a bit extreme on this. And as you can see, some pieces were going forward, some are going backwards, and we can push this as much as you want to. But at some point, this might be too much. But this is also definitely possible with this tool. Now let's also show the power of how quickly we can build level. So we can grab the line, we can go in edit mode, and we can start editing our line and make a bigger level. Then here I'm in Houdini, and this is what we are seeing. We are only seeing our ground plane and a couple of points. So what we are here doing is we're only calculating points, and each point represents a prefab. So that's the only thing we are going to do in Houdini, is calculating points and store prefab information on them. So we're just going to start out with our basic curve, of course. Like this, this can be a bit random. And we're going to make sure that we control the curve and we're going to create a shape out of this. So if I would compare this, we can clearly see that our shape respects the curve and creates a nice ground plane from this. Now from this information, I will be creating a lot of other networks. Like for example here, our wall system. So we have points that decides where a wall should be. Then further we have then calculations on where corners should be and we're also going to make a version between concave and convex points and this can nicely be seen over here so we have green and red points representing convex and concave points so we can filter out what we need and use that in the system then further we have one of the interesting parts is for our complex wall so we can have very specific points placed for these modular wall pieces i've made 
So in here, these are the pieces. So these are the pieces I, I'm talking about. So we're going to calculate the very specific points in Houdini where each of these pieces could be placed. One example here is we can use a lot subdivision and then we can sort of fuse it to create a very specific grid. And now I can use my pieces on this because I know the sizes of them. Then further we have more systems and these are then for the props. So I'm going to place procedural tanks, grates, doors and lamps on the, on the tool. And of course, when we have finally built our level, we can then walk in it and play the level. So I can walk here where I want and explore my level. That was it for the overview video. And I will hope you will be start watching the tutorial soon.